morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralus, and today we are doing some aquascaping with Marco Rocks, Marcelo, and Ricky. What's up, guys? What's up? How you guys doing? So we are taking it one step further, and not only are Marco Rocks absolutely awesome and wonderful for aquascaping your tank, but the Marco Mortar is even better. So we are going to put some rocks together with some Marco Mortar, and we're going to show you guys how it's really done. So this is my favorite part of setting up a new aquarium. I love messing with the rocks and I will usually spend about a day and a half just, depending on the size of the tank and how much rock I have to deal with, just rotating pieces, chiseling them and messing with them. So depending on the customer the tank install, I will warn them ahead of time how awesome do you want your rocks to look like because <laughs> we can do anything you want, it just takes time. So as you can see now, Marcelo is trying to find the perfect location for these pieces so the light can penetrate and you can mount your corals onto the rocks. So knowing what type of aquarium you're going to set up, may it be SPS, LPS, softies, really makes a difference with your aquascaping. So some places you're going to want a lot of room to mount your corals and other places the corals are just going to grow a lot and they're going to become the aquascaping themselves. So it doesn't really matter as much as what you start as the ending. Um, so a lot of SPS guys will do the bare bottoms with the floating rock stacks because they know the SPS is going to grow and just dominate the tank. So let's let them mess with that for a second. I'll show you guys the two displays. The Red Sea Peninsula tanks that we have, I totally dismantled them the other day and went for broke on these. So we removed all the corals we could off the rocks and just started beating these up and put them in different positions. So there's a pedestal rock right there. There's some shelf rock. There's a resaver rock. We tried to lift everything off the ground we could and just stack stuff accordingly. So one of the cool things about this is I always sell corals out of my uh, display tanks. It's just part of the game. So instead of having all those shelves and everything connected into one solid piece, I now broke them up into a bunch of smaller systems. So now we can actually just lift up one rock at a time if I need to remove a coral or cut something on the saw. So there's still plenty of room for fish to swim through. I chiseled it out as best I could uh, with the time that I had. So you can see there's a big hole here and it goes all the way through. And then we did the same with this rock over here and the fish go crazy. The pajama cardinals are always hovering in one of those caves. And I just love it. So here's another example over here. We took two rocks together and we mortared one in the middle. And this actually, instead of having to chisel the whole thing out, we just tilted it up on its side. And you normally wouldn't even think of setting a rock like that, but when you have the Marco mortar, it's just unbelievably cool because the possibilities are limitless what you can do. Um, and we just threw on, like I said, pieces all over the place. So this rock here is just a single piece with a bottom that I smashed so it lays flat and it's just standing straight up so and I threw that cap on top just for fun to see how it looks but all right so let's move over to the other peninsula tank over here and this one got a complete revamp as well and if you look down here you can just see all the little caves and the swim throughs that I did there's one there there's one up there there's one there um, they're all over the place and I'm not even done with this one yet because these pieces aren't even mortared down. I just stacked these, but I am gonna mortar a few more and lift this one like off the rocks. Just a couple bigger pieces. So, it is Friday, it's fun day. We're trying to make everything look good. Enjoy ourselves. So when people come in this weekend, they got something cool to see. Um, so I'm gonna finish putting these together and I will do another stack, probably like a bridge from here to here, just because I can and I have all this light up here. Look at that, there's no shadowing at all. Nothing to worry about there. Look at the shark, oh. So, all right guys, let's get back and see what they're doing over there, and then we'll come back to this later. So, this will be the final, final rockscaping for these, for the at least this year, to the end of 2020, and we're just gonna load these up with tons of beautiful corals. So, check them out, and let's go around the back over here. So, wow. 
above 60 pounds at scale. I'm definitely not that heavy. Oh, yeah? I'll have to get it checked. <laughs> so what you guys come up with before we make well, this permanent? This doesn't show the exact because some of these rocks are just holding it up. So our goal is to have this rock actually here eventually, the bottom rock, to give it a little bit more curve. This rock in the back is not going to be here. And neither is this. We're just going to pull the pieces up for now. Okay. But we're just trying to get something that's kind of symmetrical to a picture we saw. Get some spaces for swimming. Obviously, the tritus, I'm going to have a bare bottom. And it's a nano tank, so that's one challenge I always have. A nano tank, limited to my space. We'll see how it Nanos goes. are very hard, Marcelo. Uh, everyone I know who does a nano, you gotta keep up on those things. So, do. which uh, aquarium did you say you're using? I have a Nuvo 16. A Nuvo 16, that's pretty nice. And that's with the uh, all in one with the sump in the back? It is one of the actual original ones. I was fortunate mine didn't crack like a lot of other people. Well, that's good. It's been going strong for years. And... Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. So we're going to have to keep you guys updated on that. I'm going to stop, put down the camera for now. We're going to mortar these things together and then hopefully do a follow-up in a few weeks when it's actually in Marcellus' tank and he has water in it and we'll show you what it looks like. So this is the Marco mortar. This stuff is like cement, comes as a powder and you also get this beautiful milky liquid over here to mix with it. So once you guys do that, it forms like a paste and you can make any structure imaginable so check out all this awesome rock here we got the stacks we got the single side foundation all kinds of goodies so let me show you one of the other things we cemented this is from a tank it's a little bit older now but you can see how strong this stuff is so you can pretty much make yourself floating concoctions with this stuff so So I'm back, it's hours later, everyone has left, we are closed for the day, but I wanted to conclude this video so I didn't um, wait another couple weeks, so I wanted to just show you guys and move on. But this is the Marco Mortar in action, and it's kind of hard to catch a real glimpse of this, all finished, um, just because there's so many things distracting the camera here with the light and stuff. But there's really cool swim throughs under here, and they're only possible, like you said, with the mortar. If you try to do that normally, it would just fall over. And that's what we love about this stuff. You can make some amazing creations that you normally wouldn't see in just a rock pile. So some people, they just have live rock and they want it for bacteria and they try to throw it all in their tank. And you know, you're better off taking your time and making it a little bit more appealing. So once this is in the tank, we rinse it off, we put some corals on here and it starts turning colors. This is gonna be an impressive piece of rockscape so I'm digging it uh, Marcelo and Ricky you guys did an awesome job they came this morning and we kind of like I said just hung out and rockscaped all day and while I was continuing working so thank you guys for stopping by I really appreciate it um, it was so much fun just seeing what pieces you pick up and what you would do with them but yeah feel free anytime you guys want some help with your rockscapes you can stop by the store and we'll help you out so we got plenty of ideas. All right, and this is an idea that I'm working on right now. So the upfront tank, the peninsula, uh, needed a little bit more height and some spots for some cool corals like zoas and things. So I'm actually building a bridge right now and you can see where I just mortared the two rocks together so that I can um, levitate these. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm making a couple pieces here. These are on their way. Uh, I'll probably come back in about an hour or so and then work on the next pieces. But it takes time, it's a process, but if you want quality, um, this is what it takes. So you can see we still have the chisel out and the hammer, and we're just trying to make everything fit so it looks awesome. When we're all said and done, it'll be absolutely stunning and incredible. So there you guys go, that's our tutorial today on aquascaping with Marco Rocks and Marco Mortar and the cool things that you can come up with. So large tanks, small tanks, and nano aquariums, it all works out. So check this piece out. That's a little monstrous cave, a little too big, um, but you know, it just means bigger fish can swim through there. So that's pretty awesome. It's a big piece. 
So check this out too. I just love picking up rocks and picking them out. Like I just wonder what kind of history is behind this piece of rock right here. So unbelievable. All right, guys, it is Friday. I'm signing off. I have no idea when I'll um, publish this video. If I get it done tonight, it'll probably be like 2 in the morning. So congratulations if you're watching this at 2 in the morning and I actually stay up to publish it. So there you guys go. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Stay tuned for the next one.